Only fans, subscribe, 20 bucks a week. Big you know what I'm saying? All right. Have a Um, so before we start looking at um, some of our framing options from the bottom, um, now we understand how to frame properly and then how to use our hip positioning and ergo our foot positioning to make sure that our frames are good, is I want to talk about what Jono is looking for when he's on top of me, okay? Maybe it's love, maybe it's just a, like, you know, a, I don't know, a good time, but really he wants to hold me down. Okay, so let's just go back to sort of what, what jiu-jitsu is, the essence of jiu-jitsu, and it's really, really, really easy and, and simple to understand um, from a biomechanical point of view, okay? Again, with these videos, I wanna break things down from a, 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 a truth that we can all agree on, which is biomechanics. I don't wanna use jiu-jitsu fluff and jiu-jitsu jargon that not a lot of people understand and it gets lost in translation. I want to use rock solid ideas. So John is going to lie on his back. Okay. This is Jiu Jitsu summed up. Jiu Jitsu is the effective communication of leverage. Okay. I want to be winning that communication battle, that ergo. I, I want to be more effective and, and producing more leverage to my partner than he can apply back to me. When I'm on top of my partner, I am giving him weight or leverage. Okay. I generate my leverage through building wedges so that I can apply weight to my partner. That means I'm not applying any weight to my partner now, so move. He can move as effectively as possible in the position he is in, okay? I apply a bit of weight to my partner. What, what happens? It makes it a little bit harder for him to move. I apply more and more weight to my partner. It makes it even harder to, for him to move. I, I put a bloody piano on him and it might not be effective weight, but it is a lot of weight. He cannot move, okay? So that is me winning jujitsu. I apply enough leverage to him, and that's why big strong guys have a natural advantage in jujitsu, okay? People that say being strong or being heavy or being fat in jujitsu is an advantage when you're on top, you are full of shit, okay? Being strong, being heavy, means you don't have to be effective with how you produce your leverage. It means you can single arm press someone off you. It means you can push someone off you. It means the very action of you being on top of someone makes it hard for them to move and escape because you can generate, your baseline to generate leverage and weight is, is way higher than someone else's, okay? Now, how does Jono create leverage from the bottom? Well, he accepts leverage. How does he accept leverage? Through framing, okay? So what's gonna happen is if Jono starts framing on me effectively here, okay, he's framing me here. When I'm trying to apply weight to him in this situation, in this context, all of a sudden, is it effective weight? Well, no, Jono can move his hips. Okay. In this situation, Jono is winning the leverage communication battle because he can move, he can do what he wants, he can regard, and I am not stopping him, I am not blocking him, I am not doing anything of that nature. That is Jiu Jitsu summed up. Okay? When you're on top, you're trying to apply weight to your partner. Okay? That is how you generate your leverage. When you're on the bottom, you're accepting weight from your partner by the use of effective frames, and that is how you generate your leverage. If you're winning the leverage communication battle, you will win jujitsu, okay? And that's something that we need to consider going forward in, in these escape videos. And if you look back to the um, control videos we've done, it all comes from, from that paradigm and that frame as well. So the question you're now asking yourself when you're watching technique videos, when you're watching your coach uh, teach, um, when you're watching instructionals is, how does that technique generate effective leverage onto my partner? Or you know, how is that escape generating effective frames through muscle coupling and compound movements on my partner instead of just trying to copy a technique, okay? And I think that's a really valuable frame of reference to view things from in Jiu Jitsu.